Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Well, the Learnovate Centre, which is based in Trinity College Dublin, helps organisations to transform employee, student and customer learning experiences. In addition, the centre is currently researching what the future of work will entail. And here to tell us more is Linda Waters, Senior Business Manager with the centre. Linda, we'll be discussing the Learnovate Centre in greater detail, but first, I'd like to get an insight into your own background. Good morning, Carl, and uh, nice to speak to you and thank you for inviting Learnovate onto your show. So I suppose, Carl, my background is a little bit different um, from others in the field. You know, I have not come from the traditional learning or ed tech industry. Um, I joined Learnovate four years ago, having previously worked in sales management roles across business services, finance and the construction industry for over 20 years. So my experience is in sales strategy, business development and strategic partnerships. But I've always been involved in supporting learning in the workplace. Um, And I've been lucky that the teams that I've worked with over the the number of years have really understood that there is always plenty to learn. Um, And for me personally, I've always been interested in continual learning and development. So talk to us about the concept behind the Learnovate Centre and why it was established. Yeah, so um, the concept behind the Learnovate Centre is really around supporting the ed tech environment within Ireland. Um, and from that, really, I suppose we've, we've grown to be an international centre. Uh, Learnovate itself, we're a not-for-profit technology research centre and we're focused on industry-led. Um, as you mentioned before, Carl, we're based in Trinity College and we have just secured that three-year or that phase three funding from Enterprise Ireland and the IDA. And that's really to help support organisations um, to avail of research and to support our research agenda. And as you mentioned as well, we're very focused on the future of work and learning from a school's third level and higher education, but also from a corporate and workplace environments from a learning perspective. And the way that we do that is we partner with industry members really to understand and validate, you know, what the challenges that are happening in industry at present and then how does the output to that research, you know, we we output that research to them that's applicable and applicable to their organisations and really looking at that next generation of learners, you know, what's going to be needed for schools and higher ed and the workplace. And from the industry engagement that you're currently completing, what are the current challenges that you're hearing from industry? Our research programme at Learnovate is very much structured around the research landscape and consists of you know, core research pillars associated with, with challenges that we're hearing from industry. Um, and those four pillars of research is focused on one, which is around that 21st century soft skills. And this is a key focus for us at Learnovate around the soft skills agenda and what's needed in the workplace. You know, when you think about soft skills, we're talking about those communication skills, creativity, critical thinking, collaboration and teamwork. And there's a very strong need from our industry member community to have those skills in the workforce. The second that we're seeing is around the accelerated digital transformation. You know, how, you know, have we, and we have a, a, a significant amount of research available to our members in that particular area. The third then, Carl, would be around personalization. So if we think about, you know, no matter how many employees you have within the same role or, you know, with the same requirement in that role, each individual will have a different set of strengths and learning style. And so technology offers a viable solution to that. And we're also looking at, you know, how can immersive technology be implemented into the workforce to really create that immersive and engaging environment. Um, And the fourth one then, Carl, is around the learning in the future of work. And that's really a new pillar of research um, on our agenda. And that's looking at the learner employee that we spoke about earlier at the the beginning of the interview will be that most uh, valuable employee of the future and the individual who, you know, really wants to continually learn and continually upskill. And so the research pillars allow us to have a clear focus point for both industry members and the research team. So within those four areas of research that you're conducting, what have your findings to date been? Yeah, so, you know, it's it's really around understanding what is the best tools and methodology that those organisations can implement into their companies. And so by doing research with ourselves, depending on whether you're from, you know, a school's higher ed or corporate sector and the, the understanding the problems that you're trying to solve 
of your learners, what's, what's the suitable tools and technology that are implemented into that. And that sometimes can be around artificial intelligence, can be around virtual reality, augmented reality, and really understanding what's applicable and what's going to work for your cohort of learners. Now, I know, Linda, that the centre has attracted some very high-profile members. Yes, so we have um, over 60 members within our membership organisation. Um, and, you know, we introduced a new membership model back in 2020, and that was really around, um, you know, increasing industry engagement. And some of those members will be the likes of Gates Ventures, uh, private office of Bill Gates, their educational director is part of our membership, uh, Zoom, Polycom, um, you know, and then we would have some quite large Irish organisations, the likes of Premark as well. And in respect of the support which the centre has previously provided to the educational technology sector, how did the research benefit their service offering? Basically, it minimises um, risk for those organisations and can maximise their success. And we've seen that over the last few years that, you know, investment into those companies. Um, we actually I spoke to a, a patron of a member of ours recently who has said that they use that within their, their selling process with organisations, that their their concept and their ideas and the development of their solutions is backed by research. So it's not just a case of them going out and developing something. We've actually gone out, we've validated it, we've co-created, we've ideated. Um, and that has given them a competitive advantage, particularly we're in, when they're in that sales cycle with clients. Now, the centre has switched its focus to the area of online and adaptive learning. What has been researched in this regard? Yeah, so online and adaptive learning, as you know, um, you know technology is really serving a world of new opportunities for us. Um, and over the past, you know, two years, we've really seen that educators and learning and development teams, you know, have adapted technology that's, you know, enables a more interactivity and hybrid models of online and in-person activities. And these tools really are changing learning, teaching and assessment. Um, and that technology is supporting learning through that flexible learning when it's, when it's done right, you know. And when we're looking at that, it's helping organisations to understand what's best for them. And so we're seeing, you know, those emergent technologies in the likes of uh, artificial intelligence and adaptive learning into the workforce. Um, and Carl, you, you would probably know this, like AI really allows for learning to be continually um, adapted to each individual and their needs. Um, and AI-backed like machine learning uh, management systems can really assist in delivering um, and measuring learning outcomes. And also then we've seen the likes of virtual reality and augmented reality becoming more popular as the costs associated with the hardware and software um, continue to, to drop. Um, and so giving that blend of online and offline, um, when it's done correctly, can be very effective. And Linda, are there particular countries which you turn to when looking to identify emerging trends and technologies? Yes, so as, as part of the centre, we would have three, um, three fundamental areas of focus of research. So we would do custom research where clients would come and engage with the particular challenge that they're having for their organisation. We would also do our core research, which this funding phase is, is supporting. And then we would also look at competitive research, and that's where we're working with international partners, um, and particularly even within the European market in terms of collaborating and working with them. So we seek partners. Um, as I said, we have a global reach, um, and it's important then for, for from our members' perspective that we are looking to understand the challenges not just within the Irish market but also in a global reach. And tell us about the skill sets and experience of the team working within Learnovit. Yeah, so we've got a really strong team within the centre itself. Um, we've got expertise across learning, learning science, uh, user experience and innovation. And really that allows us then to draw on those expertise as and when they're needed uh, for a particular project or for when a client comes to engage with us. And as the centre moves into the next phase, Carl, we're also going to be adding in cognitive research expertise to the team. Um, and that cognitive research approach will really look at providing insights into human behaviour, motivation um, and needs and how, I suppose, from a psychological perspective, we can really understand and align our thinking there on that. And finally, Linda, what value does this research have for the wider Irish economy? 
Yeah, so really from a wider reach, um, both from schools, higher ed and into the corporate sector, you know, we would have better learning outcomes, better measurement of that learning outcome, a higher ranked level um, in terms of Irish ed tech being renowned for that. Um, There's no other centre globally doing what we do. So we are really given a competitive advantage for organisations who are creating innovative use of ed and learning technologies and also then for organisations who are deploying that uh, learning and development to their staff, to their students um, and how that can really focus um, you know, the, the remit of that global reach for Ireland in the ed tech space. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Linda Waters, the Senior Business Manager with the Learnovate Centre in Trinity College, Dublin. And I'd like to thank Linda for joining us on this morning's show. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast.